It's only a year ago that we were standing at Gen Con, a new game company, first game out of the gate, Sentinels of the Multiverse. We're here with Christopher, Adam, and Paul. What a difference a year makes, holy cow. We're looking <laughs> yeah. at how many expansions now to the game, yeah, well, and we've a got... reintroduction to the, the base game as well here. I can't believe how much has happened since the last time we've had a chance to actually talk face to face. Yeah, I mean, we, we re-released the core game. We have two expansions, one we released in the spring and one we released just yesterday. We're already sold out of all of the re-release of the core game and of the expansion that we released yesterday. As We still have a few copies of Rook City, but I don't think they will make it to Sunday. Yeah, all we've got left to sell is the Rook City and then all the little promotional stuff we had from our Kickstarter, so wow. it's kind of cool. That's <laughs> A good problem to have. Yeah. I mean, right, we're not complaining. We'd oh, rather yeah. have more to sell. Right, but, but still, yeah. <laughs> so maybe tell people about the, the the journey that Sentinels of the Multiverse has taken over this last year, because it's really quite remarkable sure. to go from that first base game to this much mm -hmm. action for, sure. for one title in, in such a short span of time. Well, as you know, last year we released the core game, and we took the core game here, and then we took it to PAX uh, in Seattle. And at both conventions, we had a lot of great positive feedback. We were, uh, Tom Basil called us the number one game of Gen Con 2011. We, by the end of the year, won a couple of game of the year type of recognitions. It was really a lot of great attention. And as a result, the more things moved on and the more things advanced, we were selling more and more. We did a Kickstarter last fall for the Rook City expansion, right, and right. that went double its funding in no time and uh, did very well. And we moved on now, and uh, this spring, we were completely sold out of the core game. After just releasing, about eight months after we released, we sold entirely out of the core game and had to do a Kickstarter to re-release the game and also do an expansion that we actually co-designed with Richard Lanius, uh, the guy who does Arkham Horror and Elder Sign and Avengers of the Realm. Just a little He's bit of been around. Yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, as a result, we're, uh, we're really looking at it. We have a whole new stable of stuff and um, our game is stronger than ever and we're taking care of other fans. Remind people the, the concept. Oh, the sure. Game here. Give people a snapshot view of the entire Sentinels of the Multiverse universe. Right, by multiverse. all means. A Sentinels of the Multiverse is a cooperative superhero themed card game in which three to five players play as heroes, fighting together against a villain in a dynamic environment. Um, the, ca the game has a, a giant stable at this point of different heroes to fight and to play as, villains to fight against, and environments to fight in. And uh, it, the core game has ten different heroes, four different villains, four different environments, and each of the expansions lot adds a lot of material. Um, and it's been going very well. And in terms of the, the comic book heroes that have been added to this game, these are all original concepts, Absolutely. all they're, original they're all ideas, our right? From the artwork yeah. to the actual backstory, all this stuff is coming from, from the great creative minds we're seeing right here, right? Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Everything's from us. That's awesome. Yeah. Now, in terms of the art, I think the art is fantastic in Thank these you. games and really captures the kind of comic book feel mm -hmm. of the game. How Maybe talk a little bit about the process behind uh, coming up with the characters and sort of matching that with the, the backstory that Christopher right. comes up with. Well, basically, How much time you know, goes into that? We, um, we, we basically do that um, in conjunction like, at the same time, simultaneously. Okay. Um, we will say, okay, this is, this is a sort of trope that we want to fulfill, that we want to uh, do that, and then we say, what would make this interesting? What would make it more than just you know, a, a two-dimensional cipher um, fill, filling an archety archetype? Mm -hmm. um, and then from there, um, we will we'll usually spend about probably six hours talking over Skype oh, yeah. about, uh, um, per character, roughly. Um, just and, for the concept, not yeah, for any yeah. of the decks or the mechanics, just right. for the character concept. Just for that, and then um, I will do you know, a series of drawings, and I'll you know, send it to these guys, and they say, well, we like these things, we don't like these things. and uh, So it's probably start to finish about a 20-hour a, a creation process before we start making the deck itself. Yeah. Okay. So, so I, I that includes that. you actually coming up with the sketches and drawings? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It, wow, with the, well, his, his art is really design. fast. Yeah. It includes the design. It doesn't include the, the actual cards. Sure. Um, so, uh, and then then from there, we, he'll write up the card list and I'll, and I'll draw him. Yeah. From there. But, yeah. but this guy here, what, what he's, he's not bragging about the thing he should be. The core game has about 300 pieces of art in it, and he did all of that art in three months. He's an amazing, amazing, he's a yeah. very good artist. His art is gorgeous, and his art is ridiculously fast. Like, it's, it doesn't even make sense. Yes, I have so. enough artist friends to know that, that you are working. <laughs> Plenty of time. I would make I have, them yeah. envious for you. Lots, <laughs> lots, we'll, lots, of, uh, lots of weekends spent at home. <laughs> we'll s when we'll work, sometimes he'll share yeah. his screen over the internet, and I'll watch him draw, and I'm writing stuff, and I look up, and it's like, now there are pictures. What happened? <laughs> well, it's time not misspent, that's for sure. Thank you. Now, in terms of the future, 
for sure. Sentinels of the Multiverse. I'm, I'm guessing this might not be the end of the road here for that is where true. you see the, the, the multiverse going. So yeah. maybe give us a little hint about well, that. Well, we already have announced that we're coming out with, we're starting to work on our next expansion. We're actually having um, a uh, villain creation contest in September oh, for nice. fans to create a villain and submit it. And we will pick one and work with them to get that into the next expansion. Sweet. And so over the course of the next year, we'll definitely see that. We have a few other kind of ideas to work things in the Sentinels of the Multiverse universe. Mm -hmm. And in fact, we also intend to, in the next year or so, release a property that is not Sentinels of the Multiverse. So expand, we're, we're expand working on expansions yeah. and several other games. Yeah. Well, I remember from talking last year that yeah, yeah. Uh, you have several games in the hopper. Yes, these we are, do. These have been games that you've played and developed over many years yeah. past, right? A couple years, but yeah, yeah. no, we, we have, it's, uh, it's, it's been an ongoing process, and we have a lot of things we want to do. We've had a lot of things we want to do since day one, and the only thing time has done is given us more things to do. That's great. Yeah. Well, if people want to find out more information about Sentinels of the Multiverse, mm -hmm. where can they go online to find Sentinelsofthemultiverse.com is a great place. We just last week launched a brand new website. It's gorgeous. Yep. And uh, you can go there. You can also find us on Facebook, facebook.com slash sentinelsotm. Uh, on Twitter, twitter.com slash sentinelsotm. And, uh, you know, shoot us an email if you have any questions. Contact at Sentinels of the Multiverse. Okay, last chance. Any secrets of the multiverse in terms of uh, possible new heroes or things coming up that you might be able to? We'll each tell you one little thing, but I will tell you that the next, it's funny that you said, is anything coming out in the future? Because the next expansion is based on time. Excellent. Excellent. Um, I, I will say that it'll, it will um, fulfill a lot of unanswered questions about um, yeah. several prominent characters, very prominent characters. Yeah. And there are there are various nemeses that get resolved, nemeses questions that get resolved yeah. with the next expansion as well. Excellent. This I, this ex next expansion is the one that we've been most excited to make since we since, made the portal. Yeah. Like probably since day two. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. This was so. we, we talked about making expansions. This was the first one we wanted to do, but we said we need to make new. You had first. to get to it. Yes. Yeah, we <laughs> have to get to we it. We have to earn that one. So and and I think we've earned it. Yeah. Well, you've you've teased me enough because <laughs> I, I want to take you off camera now and okay, give me all the details. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'll tell you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks so much, guys, for the time and thank you. Great. Great job and uh, keep up the great work. Yeah, thank, thank you very you much. much.